I'm gonna show you how to live stream pre-recorded videos on Instagram. And we're starting right now. What's up guys, I'm Shaq and today we're going to live stream a pre-recorded video on Instagram. Be part of the family by subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell notification icon so that you do not miss the best tech tips and fixes. In order to do this, we need a laptop. So we'll basically stream directly from a laptop into Instagram. You might feel the need of pre-recording your video in situations where you want to edit the video before delivering it to your audience. For example, color grading the video properly adding some visual effects or your brand's logo to the video, which will make your video look much more professional. You actually have control of every single pixel of your live stream video, which I think is something really cool. By the way, you can also live stream directly and edit the video like on the go, but this would require a second person on the other side of the room, which will be the person responsible for the direction of your live stream. This person would be the person responsible to edit your video while you engage with the audience. This person would be seated on a laptop receiving the image signal from your DSLR or whatever you have, a mobile phone or a simple camera and then send it to Instagram. This would require a person with some sort of experience and a high-end PC, which is basically a PC with high specifications in terms of performance to basically deal with these heavy tasks because editing your video while live streaming at the same time is a heavy task. Now, moving into our PC, which is basically where the magic happens, <laughs> uh, we need to download a software, okay? I'm gonna be doing this on my MacBook, but if you have a, a, a Windows PC, that's completely fine, okay? So, we're gonna go to obsproject.com. Do not worry, I've left the link in the description box below so that you can access the website. Uh, so you're gonna select whether you are a Windows user, a Mac OS user, or a Linux. In my case, I have a Mac OS system, okay? I won't download it right now because I already have it installed, okay? Just download it and install it. The next thing we need to download is a software called Yellow Duck. So we're gonna go into yellowduck.tv and we're going to select the operating system that we have. We're going to download the software, install it, and then open it, okay? I'll directly open a yellow duck, which is already installed in my PC, okay? The software looks like this. Yellow duck is basically a software where we're going to log in to Instagram, and we're going to initiate the live session. Once it initiates the live session, it's going to give us the unique key for that particular live session. So basically on Instagram, every single live session uh, has a unique ID, okay? And by having this unique ID, we can basically stream from anywhere and whatever we want to stream, okay? So we'll basically use Yellow Duck to retrieve this particular unique ID. Now, I would like to tell you guys that Yellow Duck is a third party software, okay? It's not official, it's not from Instagram. So I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your account. If something happens to your account, I'm not responsible, okay? I'm just sharing this with you guys because it's something that I use and um, I've never had issues with it. As far as I know, um, nobody had issues with Yellow Duck. Like, I've got a lot of friends. I know tons of people who have used Yellow Duck and they never experienced any issue. Okay, so let's open OBS first, which is basically uh, the place where we're going to uh, uh, create the graphics and everything. Okay, so this is OBS, this is how it looks like. And right now I'm gonna uh, delete my previous scenes. I'm just going to create a profile real quick because this is already uh, a set with my custom preferences. So I'm gonna just create a new profile so that I can show you every step from scratch, okay? Let me just create a profile real quick. I'm gonna call it uh, YT Demo, okay, this is fine. As you guys see, the software itself comes with this wide screen. 
which is the one uh, used to stream on YouTube, on Facebook, and many other widescreen uh, uh, platforms. Uh, let me just delete my previous scenes real quick so that you can, uh, so that we can start everything from scratch. Okay, uh, no. So I'll just add a new scene by clicking on plus, which is the add button. I'm gonna leave it as new. I'm gonna select okay. So right now I've created a scene and this is the scene which I want to deliver to my audience on Instagram, okay? Uh, once you've done creating the scene, the next thing we need to do is basically uh, uh, adjust the, the screen resolution because as you guys see, we have the wide screen, but Instagram live takes place on a vertical screen and not a horizontal screen. So we're gonna hit OBS, we're gonna come to preferences, uh, we're gonna hit with the video tab, and right here we have the base canvas resolution. We're gonna delete all of this and we're gonna write 1080 by 1920 pixels, okay? As you guys see, we have an aspect ratio of nine to 16. This is the aspect ratio of Instagram Live. Okay, Instagram Live, Instagram Story, the vertical uh, 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 aspect ratio. Now, right here on output, this is basically the resolution which will actually be delivered to your audience. Okay, so if you do not have a stable uh, network, I would recommend you guys to lower down the output resolution to 720 pixels. Okay. Uh, but if you have a stable, you can just go with 1080p and this is completely fine. The next thing is the FPS value, which is basically the frames per second being delivered to your audience. The higher the FPS, the smoother the video is going to look, okay? You don't want to go above 30, okay? Because uh, this might cause us some lagging. Let's hit OK. Boom. And as you guys can see, we have the vertical resolution of our Instagram live session. Now let's add the video that we're going to live stream. We're gonna come to sources right here and click on add. We're gonna select media source, okay? We're gonna click on okay. We're gonna click on browse to basically browse the video. We're gonna click, okay, I'm gonna come to this folder. I'm gonna select this video right here. Okay, I'm gonna click on loop. I'm gonna take the loop option because I want the video to keep repeating, okay? Because it's a very short video. But if you have a long video, like a 40 minutes video, you do not need to take the loop option, okay? Now, I'm going to rescale uh, my video because it's way uh, uh, out of the, of the screen. I'm gonna rescale it so that it actually fits on the screen perfectly, okay? Uh, in my case, I have a horizontal video, but I would recommend you guys to, to take in consideration vertical videos in terms of resolution, okay? So that you do not have to struggle with the black uh, 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 margins right here, okay? This black margin right here, uh, doesn't look good at least I do not like it I'm gonna add an image as a background okay so I usually do this when I have uh, 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 horizontal videos I'm gonna click on image I'm gonna click I'm gonna browse the image that I want to use as my background I'm gonna choose this image right here and I'm gonna increase the size of it okay I'm gonna scale it properly and I'm gonna bring it below the media source, okay? So that the media source comes to the top, okay? So as you guys can see right now, uh, I have my video running and I have a handsome guy on the background. So this looks uh, a way better than a black background right there, okay? We've got a handsome guy right here and the video running on top of the handsome guy. Uh, we're gonna open OBS, okay? I'm gonna type my Instagram username right here, okay, my password. And I'm gonna click on login and start. 
you're gonna wait for a few seconds like 15 to 20 seconds and you will immediately have the URL for the RTMP and the string key okay what you need to do right now is basically copy the RTMP URL okay by simply clicking on copy right here open yellow duck once again come to OBS preferences hit the stream tab and on service you're going to select custom okay we're going to select custom because it's not yet official to live stream on Instagram from a broadcasting software okay so we're just going to hit custom and we're going to paste the RTMP URL right here on server okay once you've done pasting it we're gonna reopen yellow duck we're gonna copy the stream key and we're gonna paste it under stream key okay now we're good to go we're gonna click on ok and we are set up the next thing we need to do is hit controls right here and click start streaming this is the magic button right now our live session has initiated and we have this screen being delivered to our audience okay once you're done with your live session do not forget to hit the stop streaming button reopen yellow duck and click on save and finish do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss the best tech tips and fixes and of course it also helps me in growing this channel stay safe see you next time